What's up guys, it's Juno. Welcome back to another uh, LBA battle. This is actually um, week... No, round six. Round... Jesus. Round six, week 11. There we go. That took a while to get off my chest. Currently chilling at five and five and um, have a battle against Ravel Rourke. He's a really cool guy. Link to his Twitter should be in the description below if I am paying attention. Um, but before I start, um, two things. One, uh, shout out to D Train, uh, my boy, for recording this. Um, really cool guy. You guys should all go check out his YouTube channel if you guys do enjoy this LBA format because he posts a lot of it and it's really cool. Secondly, um, I'm really behind on um, posting LBA content. Um, so if you, have been, if you guys have been missing that, don't worry. It's still here and there's going to be a lot of it this week. Planning for uh, upload on. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday for LBA games. That will get me all caught up, which would be great. Anyway, looking at the matchup I have this week, I think it's actually relatively favorable. Um, he has a Crobat. He has a Scizor, Conk Elder, um, th this thing, Twerkle, uh, Mega Manetric, and Keldeo. And on my team, I have Excadrill. I have... Um, what's this thing's name? Clef, and it's actually a really cool spread this week. It's Babiri Berry Clefable in order to take on Scizor, because I can uh, leave it in on Scizor and roast it. And then I have Psy Shock for Crobat. I have Psy Shock for uh, Conk Elder, so that's a cool spread. We also have Thunderous, uh, Gyarados, SD Halucha, and uh, as always, got to tell because it traps stuff and it's beautiful. So anyway, we're gonna go and jump straight into it. Um, as Rourke does go ahead and issue the challenge, I go ahead and lead with my, uh, thing. My thing. My Excadrill, as he leads with his Keldeo, I'm gonna switch out immediately because I know even if he specs, um, Hydro is, like, a roll to kill, and he just ends up going for the Calm Mind, which, like, to me is kind of funny, actually, because, like, this thing doesn't actually sweep anyway, even if he starts Calm Minding, uh, because I could be, like, physical... Uh, physical thunderous and just stop him dead in his tracks and look at that Misa the got the tail ends up living on uh, on the roll it, it's it's close to killing it may not actually KO but I'm able to trap his Keldeo knock it out big big threat out of the way like w w it was definitely a threat but I don't think it was like anything that I would have lost to anyway I'm gonna go out into dude which is my Gyarados right here um, just because I do feel that I have a pretty favorable matchup versus this normal scissor right here um, although it does kind of scare me because it can have Bug Bite, and he'll probably go for it right here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and sack uh, this thing. As he ends up actually revealing this superpower, uh, which is better coverage uh, than uh, Bug Bite versus my team. But that puts him at neutral attack, which is good. So now I can go back into Dude, and I know I can take pretty much any hit this thing wants to go for at this point. And I know he probably won't stay in, so I'm just going to get off the... Uh, Mega Evolution here. Oh, by the way, his theme for nicknames this week is uh, all of us mons don't have vowels. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to Mega Evolve, get off, uh, set up a sub right here because, you know, it's not really that much of an issue if uh, he does break my sub. If anything, I just get a free attack out of it. And that is going to be a solid 2k with a crit, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but, you know, I've gotten some mildly unfortunate hacks this season. So, like,. And when I say mildly unfortunate, like, I should have, like, two more wins right now, but, you know, who's counting? I'm gonna go out into Clefable right here, as he ends up going for the Ice Punch, which is no problem whatsoever. I end up eating that up, and I can go for the Psy Shock, but unfortunately, that's modest Clefable. <laughs> that did nothing. I think he was physically defensive this week, and I was packing the wrong Resist Berry, um, apparently. Had the Steel Resist Berry, should have had the Poison one, but I get to go out into Nimbus right here, just fire off a Psychic, which will go ahead and knock this thing out. Wasn't worried about that at all. And uh, now he can go out into his main Manetric right here, which is actually kind of troubling, because main Manetric is a really cool mon, uh, because it beats teams that cover by types. Unless you're packing, like, something that is just a really dedicated special wall or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and Psychic that as he goes for the Overheat Predicting Excadrill, which does work out in my favor, I suppose, because he will pick up the minus two and ends up actually switching out right here, which is a play that I didn't necessarily agree with, um, as I just fired off a Thunderbolt right here because, you know, I actually lost nothing by it. It was either um, 
he knocks me out with T-Bolt or uh, I get off uh, T-Bolt on something else if he does switch. Anyway, um, I get the para right here, and uh, but he's alone, so it doesn't matter. And, uh, and he knocks me out with the BP, so it's not that big of a concern right there. And I'm just going to go out into Nacho uh, because I know this thing can actually take this on relatively well. I'm going to set up a sub and uh, eat the citrus so I'm where I need to be in order to have a chance at this game. He's going to go for another BP which is fine. I know that uh, he can't knock me out with uh, any one move from this range especially since I am super fast now. He's going to go for the bullet punch um, which actually does a lot. It came close to knocking me out. Closer than I would have liked but end up knocking out that sizzle right there which is super helpful for me. He's going to go into his Torkoal right here though and I'm just going to go straight away for the acro. Um, get off about half and he's just going to knock me out with the lava plume. So you know Lucha didn't quite do as much as I was hoping it would do this week but you know sometimes it doesn't work out that way and fortunately I do have my dude here. My dude dude. Uh, who can just come in and pretty much take over this match because I do have sub lava plume is not going to break my sub He can't he's not infiltrator. Thank God uh, So he's not gonna be able to take or He's not gonna be able to willow around my sub and I just get to set up a dragon dance and uh, This is why I drafted mega Gyarados I actually wanted mega Charizard um, If I'm being completely honest char X just because I feel that Charizard X is really, really good in a matchup dependently because it can go like defensive spreads. Uh, you can even run mixed if you really want to. Like they're gonna switch in like their Intimidate Mon, their Landorus T, and they're gonna get nuked by an Overheat. Like that'll do like a good chunk of damage if you're invested. But I'm just eating up all the hits right here. It's not even a problem, people. And then I think right, yeah, right here I go for the Waterfall just because I thought you know I kill everything from here and I don't want to like be that guy that just continually subs and DDs to plus six because you know there's there's a special place for people like that um, I'm just gonna knock out Crobat with the crunch though uh, revealing that you know I do have it he goes out into main metric right here but this minus one is not going to save him actually it doesn't at all because I'm behind a sub so that's pretty cool end up knocking him out with the crunch so very good game Rourke um, overall your team is actually really threatening I think I just kinda got a couple good rolls this week um, you know, yeah, I think that's really ultimately what it boiled down to. Really hope I don't face Rock again because he honestly has a really good matchup versus me. But anyway, um, if you guys did enjoy today's episode that brings us to 6 and 5, please make sure to leave a like because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. Um, I actually don't have a comment question in the video for today. Um, so tell me what you guys have going on this week. Um... I'm really I'm interested to hear what you guys have going on this week because you know it's always not nice to kind of connect with you guys and just kind of be like hey like I I don't want to be that like content creator who has like a huge gap between him and his subs I want like you guys to be able to like just like have a conversation with me whenever because I I feel like I kind of come off in like passive ag passive aggressive way sometimes anyway. <laughs> yeah, just tell me what you guys have going on this week. Is there anything you guys want to talk about? So, yeah. With that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.